It's now time for Gary Radnich from the Jack in the Box Sports Desk. Now again, right, everybody, the Bay Area had an extra, extra rooting interest in the recently completed Olympic Games. 15-year-old Pauline Edmonds from Mitty High School in San Jose started her uh, her travels here. First time competing on the senior level, placed second at the U.S. Figure Skating Championships. That landed her on the Olympic team. And then in Russia, she finished ninth overall in her first senior international competition. Paulina will drop the first puck at tonight's Sharks-Penguins game. We have her standing by live at San Jose Arena. Have you ever dropped a puck before, young lady? Okay, so this will be your debut tonight. Uh, let's go back a little bit and talk about the Olympic experience. Uh, what will you remember most of all from being in Russia? The thing that I remember most of all from being in Russia is just everything from the moment that we arrived and um, till the moment that we left because there was so much going on and I got to meet so many people and just the experience of being in the Olympic Village and the Olympic Park was just so exciting and I have so many great memories from that. I know you're going to say you wanted to medal, but all in all, were you pretty satisfied with a ninth place finish? I was satisfied with how I skated and how I skated two great programs and I had the highest difficulty of the competition with two triple triples in my program. So I'm really pleased with how I skated and that the judges got to see me skate. Of course, ninth place wasn't my goal and I hope to finish higher and so now my goal is just to finish higher at the next couple competitions that I go to. All the uh, folks back home here heard about, particularly maybe the first week of the Olympics, were how poor the accommodations were. Especially, these were media guys complaining. How about for the athletes? For the athletes, they just did a fantastic job in Sochi. Everything, the security, the flights, the um, housing, the buses going there, everything was so well done and um, it was just so easy for us athletes and everything was just beautiful there and we were all just so happy to be there and so happy with how they had done the entire Olympic area for us. Did your mother and father get to go? Yes, my family got to go. My mom, my dad, my two brothers, my best friend and her mom all got to make the trip to Sochi. And I was just so excited for them all to come and see me skate there in Russia. And um, I was just so glad to have their support with me in Sochi. Yeah, that sounds great. Were you able to have fun with your family at all? Or was the task so daunting you didn't have time for socializing? great to have them there. I On the last day, I got to have my entire family come and visit the Olympic Village, and I had guest passes for them, so that was really exciting. And on two different days, I had my, just my mom and just my dad come to the Olympic Village, and I got to um, talk with them and show them around, and it was just so nice to show them where I was at the Olympics and everything that was going on, and I knew that they were just so proud and happy to be there. Yeah, you know who Aaron Gordon is, right? Yes, I know who Aaron Gordon is. Yeah, the reason I said that, those of us who do sports uh, always talk about him, and he's uh, going to be in the NBA one day. But I guess now, uh, if I roll some tape of this rally, you're the most famous athlete from Mitty, huh? <laughs> Mitty has a ton of great athletes. They have from Brandy Chastain to Carrie Walsh to Aaron Gordon, and now to me, it's just um, such a fantastic school. And for all of us to come out of there, um, really shows how great um, in athletics Mitty really is. Was it hard to get back in the swing of school again after you've been working so hard and enjoyed this fabulous experience? different for sure coming back and um, but of course I didn't really feel like I ever left Mitty I just um, I just came back and everything felt normal and everyone was really excited to see me again and everyone wanted to know how the Olympics was and it was just great being there and um, 
getting back on top of things and talking to my teachers about my work and I for the most part got back on track pretty quickly and I'm still catching up on a few things but I'm pretty close so I'm pretty happy. All right final thing we want to mention that uh, there are Paulina face masks uh, sold at the uh, Sharks Ice for two dollars each. The proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. Did you see any of these masks when you were at the Olympics? I didn't see any of those masks at the Olympics. I only saw them in pictures on Facebook and other social networking sites when I was there. But yeah, I saw them um, and I saw everybody using them and I was like, whoa, that was my first reaction. And um, But I'm glad that um, people are buying them and um, the proceeds are going to the American Cancer Society and they really go to a great cause. So um, it's, it's great. Obviously, your next goal are the uh, Olympic Games in uh, 2018. For sure. Um, of course, I'd like to go to the Olympics in 2018. Um, right now, my goal is to just do well at Worlds. That's coming up in a few weeks and um, keep progressing from here and getting stronger. And hopefully when the next Olympics rolls around, I'll be even stronger. Of course, I know that anything can happen in four years and you can never expect perfectly anything that's going to happen. But I'm going to work as hard as I can to try to get back to the Olympic Games. We appreciate you coming on. Get ready for a standing ovation in a few minutes when you drop the puck. That should be fun at the Sharks game tonight. <laughs> Thank you. There she is, Pauline Edmonds. She'll be dropping the puck at the Sharks game.